North Star is the next season coming to Rainbow Six Siege, and it'll be bringing the Thunder. The Thunderbird, to be specific. She's the new operator who's dealing out some healing for the defenders, and potentially for the attackers. North Star is also delivering numerous game improvements, including some notable changes to barrel attachments, plus some balancing tweaks that will make some things easier to see, and others much more difficult. Here's everything you need to know about North Star, playing out on the new casual rework of the favela map. Our new operator is Thunderbird, a speedy defender who hails from the Nakoda nations of the northern prairies of North America. Armed with the Spear 308 assault rifle outfitted with NATO sights, or the SPAS-15 shotgun as her primary, and a sidearm choice of the Q929 pistol or the Bearing 9, she wields her formidable arsenal in conjunction with her choice of explosives, impact grenades or a nitro cell, as you prefer. When it comes to her gadget, well, say hello to the Kona station. Once Thunderbird deploys one of these devices and it arms itself, it'll shoot a tasty health nugget to the first operator who enters its radius. If multiple defenders are within range, the one with the lowest health gets the juice. The healing works like a shot from Doc's Stim Pistol. It will restore lost health and even overheal you, but any health above your max HP will appear as blue in your health bar and slowly dissipate over time. After dispensing a single dose, the station goes on cooldown until the next one is ready. Defenders will see a cooldown timer, while attackers can wait to see a cone of blue light that indicates a charge is ready. And their patience could pay off, because a charged Kona station will heal anyone who enters its radius, not just defenders. Using Thatcher's EMP to temporarily disable a Kona station rather than destroying it could earn an attacker a nice little health boost for a post-plant situation, so it behooves Thunderbird to keep tabs on her Kona station situation. And there's one more thing. A Kona station charge can be used by a down but not out operator to get themselves back on their feet. The DBNO operator will have to manually trigger the revive, but if used properly, and with a little bit of luck, Kona stations can do wonders for defender survivability. Combine one with a deployable shield and Jaeger's ADS to create a tough defensive position. Or hide a couple in key positions around the map to make your roamers even harder to take down. Thunderbird brings a powerful loadout and an empowering gadget to the defending team, but Northstar has even more in store. An important update to barrel attachments will help you keep your recoil in check so more of your bullets go where you want them to go. Compensators will now solely limit left and right movement, while flash hiders will dampen the weapon's vertical kick. Muzzle brakes will still recenter your shots more quickly, and overall, the goal is to help you better customize your loadout. If you're curious about the impact these changes will have, why not try out the flash hider on the P90? or the Bearing 9. Now, if that was you on the wrong end of that encounter, what you'd be seeing now is the new post-death sequence. First, you watch your body hit the ground and then disappear, to be replaced by a translucent operator icon, the better to commemorate your passing while eliminating any issues with dead bodies appearing differently to different players. Then you'd see the replay, which you can now skip, and finally, you'd enter the support phase. Also on the North Star update list is a change to bullet holes. A single solitary shot in a destructible surface will no longer make a hole you can see through, so you'll have to make something a bit bigger and potentially a bit more noticeable. On to operator updates. Smoke's toxic gas has a new look and a new propagation system aimed at helping it spread more naturally and predictably and not through walls -ly. Malusi's Banshee devices will cease to be bulletproof when they are active, letting attackers shoot them to be rid of their infernal meddling. And a big one for Mira's Black Mirrors, Maestro's Evil Eyes, and Bulletproof Cameras. The glass on these gadgets can now be shattered by melee attacks. Shattering won't remove the glass, but it will make the glass impossible to see through, severely limiting the device's utility. 
want to play a few matches with all these changes in place before the season launches? Download and play the PC test server starting on Tuesday, May 25th. It's free to all players who own Siege on PC, and it's a great way to get a look at what's coming in North Star and beyond. In fact, one of the biggest changes revealed during this year's Future of Siege panel is coming to the North Star test server. Gameplay after death. How do you like to check out the new streamlined armor system? Or try out the updated bulletproof cameras that can now look every which way and are armed with a recharging EMP blast. Play the test server to see how these game-changing, still work in progress, new features are shaping up, and be sure to send the team your feedback. Let's round out our North Star tour with a look at the new Favela map, a casual rework where fireworks can be expected at any time, as long as it's nighttime. While the surrounding streets are a good place to practice your drone's footwork, you won't find a ground floor stairway leading into the building, and most of the exterior walls are no longer destructible, except for this one. The roof still has two entries at the top of the red and yellow stairs, but the interior floor plan has been completely redesigned. The two main floors are much more interconnected, with a bevy of tight spaces that make for intense, close-quarters confrontations, depending on how renovation-happy the defenders are. The new favela map and all the tweaks and updates will be available free to all players when North Star launches, unless I mention them specifically in the test server section, in which case, they're only coming to the test server, for now. The new operator, Thunderbird, will be unlockable instantly through the premium track of the North Star Battle Pass and available three weeks later for purchase with Renown or R6 credits. For more on Rainbow Six Siege, follow this channel and visit us at news.ubisoft.com. Op 4 eliminated. Mission successful.